I do not own the rights to this music. But let's add a little music in this thing to juice it up over at Stock Crypto Credit Moves. So, in this video, we're going to discuss uh, the stock market. And I'm just going to give out some plays uh, for long term investors or investors that don't have a lot of time to really watch the market and they're just long-term holes. So let's go into, let's go into this thing here. So the first um, ETF, I recommend is VU. Um, I know it's, somewhat expensive for a lot of people but it's a stock that you can just buy and just hold that would be the benefit in these so it doesn't require a lot of supervision and uh over a course of a year you're looking at getting eight to eight to twelve percent on these so vu is on the vanguard 500 index um it requires um no maintenance, you just buy it and hold it. And it's professionally managed. Let's see what it's actually in. I like to look at the the holdings and boot. What I like the most about ETFs, uh, you get exposure to multiple uh, companies. So if you had to actually own a share of Apple or Microsoft or Amazon, it's gonna cost you a lot more money than just buying this ETF and just holding. That's that's the biggest benefit you take, I take away from, from these. So, so VU is one I would recommend, and I'm actually holding some VU. The next one I would recommend um, is SPY. You can't go wrong with these, guys. These are long-term holes. Um, and the good thing about it, when the market actually uh, falls, you're not going to witness as much turbulence compared to other stocks. So these are basic, uh, these are stocks that I would recommend for people that are just getting started and trying to start building a portfolio. Spy. Let's look at spy holdings. We ready, we ready, we ready. We at war now, so we got to be ready, man. They're trying to take our wealth from us with the stock market, man. But we ain't gonna let that go down. So the second one I would recommend would be SPY. Um, and again, you have a lot of exposure. Like you got, you got your technology, 25%, uh, industrials, energy, so it's covering all the areas without you having to actually go and do any research. That's the benefit in these ETFs. They cover, they cover so many different asset classes in the one. So it's a lazy way to invest. And again, some of the top companies are in uh, these. So there's no research. You just drop your money in. If you got going to put $500 in a month or whatever you're going to buy, you just buy it and just kind of forget about it. So that will be that will be the benefit uh, in this in these ETFs. 
Another one I want to look at, uh, just to give a third example of an ETF that I recommend would be the Triple Q. And I know a lot of um, financial advisors, this is the stock that they recommend that their clients actually start with, QQQ. Um, you'll get you 20% sometimes in a year. Um, and when it falls, it doesn't fall apart like some of the others. So um, as you see here, the 52 week low was recent. It was at 316. The 52 week high is at 408. So it's, it's, it's fairly stable. And as you see, again, a lot of the different sectors, this one is heavy tech. So the downside in this would be, in this one would be when technology stocks are not doing well, then QQQ may, may have a pullback. But long term, it, it, it wins. Um, so that's, um, that's that, that covers a lot of your sections in the stock market just by buying these. And like I said, you don't have to monitor them as much because it's a long term play. Um, if you want, let's say like if you wanted to do a banking, a bank stock or a bank ETF, uh, one that I hold is XLF. I've been holding XLF for a long time. And it's not a stock, it's not an ETF that's going to make you a killing. But it's a good place to park some cash because it doesn't fall all that much. As you see, you got some of the top banks in it. And this is just conservative plays. People that doesn't want to really take a lot of risks. And they just want stable returns. So these, these ETFs here, I would definitely would recommend. XLF, VU, SPY, QQQ. Um, and just to throw some more. Plays. If you wanted an uh, EV stock, two EV plays that I would recommend. One is QS, which is Quantum Skate. I've made some money on QS and I've lost some money on QS. So I'm just being honest. It's a very volatile stock, but it's an EV battery uh, play that was a SPAC. Before it was, uh, it was, it was actually a KCAC. And I actually was holding KCAC on some options and some shares before it merged and became Quantum State. And I made some good money. I was in at like 15. It ran up to about $47. And after I sold, it ran to $131. So if I would have held long, even in that situation, um, I would have made even more money. But you're never going to hold stocks uh, long enough, guys. You have to just get your money sometimes and move on to the next play. Especially with this market now, it's so choppy. Like we just got so much foot in the market uh, right now with all the the war and inflation. It just the, the government just want to keep the market down, and the uh, the hedge fund managers are shorting the hell out of the stock market. So they're buying shares every day and just selling them to keep the, the prices down. So the market is 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 manipulated uh, by Wall Street. So as I said in previous videos, we're just pawns. So we got the hole. We just buy the stocks and we hold. And if you need other, like if you need income uh, in the stock market right now, uh, the main way I would say you probably would make money right now is shorting. But the downside to shorting is when the mark when, when you're shorting a stock and it turns bullish, then that then shorting actually will go against you then. So I just think it's just best to just buy some stocks and just hold them long and wait till the, the market conditions get better. Um, I've never really been in the shorting, but I understand that that's what the institutions do sometime on a two or three times in a day to pull a stock down. Um, and I'll actually pull up an example, a definition of shorting. Um, I want to throw Volta there too. Um, so QS is, is is the EV battery play that I recommend. And I also like Volta. Volta is an EV charging station. 
that is severely beat down right now. I'm not sure how far this thing is going to come down, but as you see, uh, the 52 week high was $14. Um, I think it's going to go back there sooner rather than later. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't say when, but I think at this, these levels will be a good time to ins initiate a position. Uh, the 52 week low is 270. So even if you bought this stock now, right? So this if you pay it to 280 and I would not recommend putting all your money in any stock right now at the same time, but you can just put like if you want, let's say if you wanted to uh, do a thousand shares of Volta, maybe you start with 200 shares uh, to initiate a position. So that's about 550 bucks. And then if it continues to dip, you just add 200 shares until you've actually exalted all the money that you want to buy for that stock. So at least you're giving yourself a chance at lowering your overall position. So this is a stock that I believe I, I feel long term it'll do well because uh, by 2030, uh, the government has already said um, Biden is pushing for 30 percent of the cars on the road to be the uh, EV. So it's headed towards their electric cars. Uh, it's already starting. So uh, that's another uh, stock. So what do I mean by shorting? Let's, let's just pull that definition up real fast. Shorting. So shorting is, that's what, that's what actually is keeping uh, a lot of stocks down now. It's just getting the hell short out of it because of all this this bad news and it's been in the market for months. So shorting, what is shorting a stock? Investors can potentially make a significant portion through shorting to short sell a stock because it comes with substantial risk. The risk would be, let's say like if I'm shorting QS and so I'm, I'm, I'm betting that the stock is going to go down. So if it goes down, I make just as much money that the investor that is betting for it to go up would make. The downside is when you get caught in that position and QS runs in the opposite direction, you're taking a loss. So that's, that's, that will be, that's the bad part with it. If you're an investor or consider an investment option, you're probably already familiar with one of the most fundamental rules of the game. Buy low, sell high. But did you know some experienced investor can actually manage to profit when the shares fall? Uh, yeah, so that's what pretty much shorting is. And also, too, if you have 100 shares of a stock, you can sell some calls and you can and you can benefit on the market falling. I haven't been I haven't really been an active trader of the stock market uh, lately because it's just been so turbulent, so down. So I just became a long term holder uh, because some of my positions I'm down 30 percent, 40 percent. And what I've done, I'll just add some or add some more funds to it to lower my overall position. And just pretty much, hell, I just might close this stock market portfolio for the rest of this year. It might have to just become a long-term investor. And, and we find another way to eat. So that's why on this channel, I like to bring multiple options to make money so we're well diversified where we're not just sitting up there just waiting on a stock to recover. That might take two or three years. So that means you're not going to make money for two or three years. So we got to be well balanced. I'll put this article in the description. So it's just saying how to short. Put simple betting a stock the value to make a profit. So yes, yeah, so you you're, you're profiting when it goes down um, and you can you can buy that the same way you buy the regular shares. You would just uh, select a short sale or sell a short. So you're just buying. You're betting that a stock is going to go down. For an example, you think XYZ is overvalued and will make a drop in value. So you decide to borrow 10 shares at $100 each. Your broker then sells you the shares for 1000 You keep your short position open until the stock price falls, as you predicted. So that's one way you can benefit uh, from the stock market falling. And as I stated earlier, you can sell a call.